Um, I think that the most disappointing thing for me when I came out of hospital, I'd been nine months, you know, out here, absolutely huge. I'm quite a small person, but the baby was big, nine pounds four. I thought, great, I'll be able to put all my old clothes back on. I was so excited. I mean, I love fashion. I used to be a fashion correspondent and got lots of designer clothes. And I cried because I tried to pull my jeans on and I couldn't do them up. And I thought, oh no, I'm still fat. Because it doesn't all go down straight away. Oh, the babies yeah. come out, but I don't know what happens, but like your muscles disappear, don't they? Because yeah. it's sort of like your muscles almost separate when you're pregnant, mm, don't they? they? And do. I just had... Well, your, I was, your rib cage moves out as well, yeah. doesn't it? Everything gets bigger. Because funny enough, I only put on a stone in weight with my first child and lost it. So when I came out of hospital, I was exactly the same weight my pre pregnant I couldn't believe them I mean, he was about seven eight and everything I thought well, where's the rest of it gone but obviously all the yeah. water the yeah. fluids and everything so I thought that oh I'll be able to put yeah. my clothes on but although I was the same weight pre pregnancy weight shape. completely different shape yeah. the worst thing was when and this has happened twice after two babies and you'd like go wandering around the hospital and everything and blah, and they're like oh when's the baby yeah. due isn't that <laughs> awful I, get, yeah. I still get I've had it. <laughs> I, I still get that six years on, and I'm I'm a reporter, and I was at a hospital, um, and we were doing a story about maternity unit, and the obstetrician said to me, "Are you with me?" And like the cameraman collapsed because he knew that he meant, you know, was I one of his clients, and he thought I was pregnant. I had my baby six years ago, and although I've got <laughs> quite slim arms and legs, but look I, at you, no, you're tiny. I'm out of proportion. My tummy sticks out more than the rest of me, and honestly, I get yeah. asked once a month by some but was stranger. That since you were pregnant, though. Yeah, I'm talking You've about. You've never gone I'm, back to your normal no, figure. No, it's never gone flat again. Oh, that's yeah. And that's six years <laughs> later, and I get regularly asked, like once a month, um, you know, when you're having the baby, and. And, you know, sometimes it gets me in such a bad mood, I just grit my teeth and go, I'm fat, not pregnant. <laughs> no, people are so embarrassed. People, yeah. I have to say, I'm sorry, Rich, but I'm so glad that's happened to you, because it happened to me on the train the other day. I was reading a, um, Jules Oliver's book, and it's about her pregnancy diary and baby diary. For, for work, I was reading it, and, um, and I had the dress on that I thought made me look fabulous. But it just doesn't quite hop, hide the pot belly. It glides over it and it, and it curves around yeah. it. And the woman said, there's a seat here if you like. And I was like, oh. And I just thought, <laughs> what, what's worse, that. being mistaken for being pregnant or saying, don't worry, I'm not. And I, I just know. went, no, I'm fine. And just pushed it out. And oh. like, oh. <laughs> but how handy. You could take advantage oh, of that as well, couldn't you? But you, I mean, you obviously look like you got your figure back, no problem. Uh, funny enough, I did get it back quite quickly. With the first one, as I say, I mean, only put on... Um, a stone and that sort of went sort of very quickly with the second one each one took a little bit longer obviously mm. but I tell you what I mean this breastfeeding in any case I was always going to breastfeed I was never going to put sort of chemicals and formulas in my baby's mouths mm. and it is true that that does help and you can feel your yeah. stomach contracting you, you really yeah. oh definitely I didn't feel you like I'd feel lost it. weight until I stopped breastfeeding because I was oh, I could feel when it I was all the way sort of through really? and everything but with um, the third child, Sammy, um, I, I never dieted either until I finished breastfeeding. And I was breastfeeding probably for an average of six months because I thought, well, that's stupid because I'm not getting the, the nourishment. Mm. But I always wanted to get back to pre-pregnancy weight by the end of the year, whatever happened. So the other two, it, it was absolutely fine. But with Sammy, I was carrying about an extra five pounds. I thought, I've got to sort of get do that by the end of the year and whatever and just this diet that I've never dieted actually and this worked it was brilliant and that was fine didn't exercise what was the diet oh it was a three they it was a three-day diet so it was very bearable it was the most peculiar thing but it was fantastic if you like to eat anything for three days no no yeah no <laughs> but that's a fallacy because then your whole body's your, your whole system shuts down doesn't it yeah. it's going like it's feast or famine so it's mm -hmm. like oh well we can't sort of digest we've got to reserve things and that's why it goes all wrong when people starve don't yeah. they yeah and then they suddenly eat and then it's not getting digested quickly it was just a three-day diet that was um very effective it was called the heart foundation diet but they did deny that it was one of theirs but it was fantastic and um and that was it but i think uh, i think it's the way you are aren't you if you're sort of if you're kind of naturally quite active or you know, sort of slim, or you haven't eaten the wrong foods during pregnancy, because mm -hmm. I think that's the danger. You're yeah. eating, and then people eating things. for two, yeah. 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 which is really yeah. a fallacy, because they'll take oh, from the body completely. what they want. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just think, well, I'm getting fat, so nobody will notice if I have sort of like 20 Jaffa cakes and whatever. <laughs> but you do afterwards. You were in my house when I was doing all this, weren't you? I, I, you were obviously the fly <laughs> on the wall. Because <laughs> I knew I wasn't eating for two, but I was. Yeah. I was eating for three. Yeah. I yeah. thought, yeah. I can have puddings, and I never, yes. I never ever have a pudding. I'm very 
regimental about what I eat. I know the right things to eat. But when I was pregnant, I, I did. I used to also say, oh, it's, um, it's my, because I'm pregnant, I've got a sweet tooth. Right. And but but I think that would just. Do you normally yeah. have a sweet tooth? Are you denying yourself puddings in your non pregnant state? I, I say to people that I would always rather have cheese after a meal than a pudding. Is that true? Possibly not. <laughs> <laughs> but when I, so when I was pregnant, I'd have both. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I used to get exactly, cravings yeah. for cream cakes, actually, which is a bit of a killer, isn't it? And apricots, funny. Anything flavoured with apricot, like apricot ice cream, ap apricot yoghurt. I'd sit at work because I was working through my pregnancy and have the, you know, I remember being so embarrassed one day when the news editor came from over and I had like a great hot eclair in my <laughs> mouth and I was just going, you know. <laughs> But it's what yes. the body needs. I yeah. really do believe that. I mean, that's why I was asking the question, Cheryl, actually. Sort of like, were you denying yourself normally, but sort of like putting it down to sort of like pregnancy and maybe it could be a craving and therefore it was justified? But yeah. if, it's, if you're denying it in your normal life, you are a naturally sweet tooth person. I probably am. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. it wasn't the body yeah. answering a need. It was just like you just love sweet things. But I've really struggled with my weight ever since, ever since giving birth to my children. And mm. I never... I was always... You know, I always toyed with diets and I was always possibly half a stone overweight and never much more. And now I'm probably, well, I'm three stone heavier than I was when we did the Eurovision Song Contest. Are you really? Mm. Oh, I really that, do you put that down? Is that, yeah. Do you really attribute it just to having babies? No, I put it down to my age as well. But then yeah. I had the babies at 40, so I, I was already heading down the rocky road of mm. menopause by then, you know, or heading to it, I've been there and come out the other side now. But uh, I've, since I've had the babies, I have never, ever got down to my fighting weight, ever, not yeah, once. Me too. And I have tried yeah. every diet, yeah. and they all work, mm. because you stick to them. Mm. And when you stop them, and I, I don't eat badly at all. Isn't that strange? I eat really I well, I don't drink change. too much. I think it yeah. changes shape, and it's, you know, just not having the same muscles anymore. Yeah. And they, they, yeah. Their shape mm. gets ruined by pregnancy, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. But, you know, I mean, again, I mean, it's, it is going back, because everything's changed since I had my first child. There was no um, exercise routine for pregnancy. There were certain things mm. you'd do, like the breathing thing, but it was very, very mild. There wasn't a sort of thing, this is what you should do to get, it. exactly, yeah. but that's all there now. I wonder yeah, if that true. makes a difference. Do you think it does? There's serious, pre I mean, there is serious pressure, isn't there? You know, the, the, the celebrities pinging back, you know. With yes, they how do it? They out. do they, it. They have it all sucked out with a cesarean, don't they? They have body tucks, don't oh, they? Or is that do they? Oh, yeah. Do, yeah. do yeah. they? Well, I don't know, but there is talk about it, isn't there? <laughs> but you yeah. book into the You know, court, while yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. <laughs> while, while you're down there, well, yeah, why don't you give me a tummy tuck, tuck at the yeah. same time? Isn't that dangerous, though? It sounds great. I wish I'd had that. <laughs> well, it does sound great, but would you really want to go to that extreme just to lose weight and get your body back in well, shape? Well, also, you read that there's so many magazines now, aren't there? So many magazines that d don't just do lovely pictures, lovely glossy pictures, but they love to take the photos of the of you not looking so good. Yeah. yeah, and there are yeah. lots of celebs now that get back to their fighting weight so very quickly and well, I think that hurting. puts a lot of pressure, yeah. pressure it is, yeah, on the it? ordinary mums at home that think well if they can do it we can but in the real world I don't think you it don't really have happens. Trainer, no, do exactly. Mm. It makes it much more difficult for them.